right, guys. So I'm really excited <laughs> to introduce our next guest. His name is Ford, aka Lil Ford, aka one of my headache. No, I'm just kidding. All right, guys, let me turn this around. You gotta scoot in a little bit. Scoot over. Miss some goodie done bite. No, not you guys. Oh. Just him. Scoot back in. Trying to make sure we get in. Yeah. Scoot over. Scoot over. Daisy. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. All right. He over there trying to be all calm Yo. and cool. Little Yo, what's foreign. Going on? It's foreign in the building. You already know what's going on. Absolutely. So, tell us what's going on with you. Like, I know you just came back from South by Southwest. Okay. You've been making a few trips in New York, LA. You just been doing your thing. Uh, I mean, basically, pretty much what I've been trying to do is just, like, move around. Uh-huh. Because, you know, Cleveland is kind of, like, a toxic place, you know, especially being here and, like, yeah. going up here and, like, knowing everybody here. So, it's, like, not a lot of opportunities. So, mm -hmm. you know, just kind of, like, bouncing around and getting able to meet people and have relationships with people, you know, it just helps me out a little bit. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yes. One second. I see that Clinton just, uh, Clint Andrews just tuned in. We already shouted out Fat Fly Freddie Lee. You missed it. Right. We sure did. <laughs> right. So, right now... If you guys are just tuning in to the live, we got a little foreign in the building. We're going to be playing his uh, single in a few seconds. So you guys just let us know if um, <laughs> he says you're looking sexy as fuck with them Afro puffs. No, that's not future. His name's Lil Foreign. <laughs> Somebody asked if you were future. Listen, man. But you are the future. I want to put this hey. out there. Everybody Is that got your dad? No, I'm after me. I'm filming. I got 80 different shades of blonde in my head. I got 44 different shades of blonde because I'm four. Y'all gonna understand very soon. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> so yeah, so if you guys are just tuned in, this is Foreign, aka Lil Foreign in the building. So uh, and uh, so we're just talking about what's going on with him. So tell us your experience with South by Southwest. I know that was your first time going. Yes, it was my first time being in Austin, Texas. Uh, not alone, uh, let alone just South by Southwest, but mm -hmm. Texas. Period. So it was like a whole different vibe. You know, I really didn't know what to expect everybody's like ah uh, you know texas is this you know south by southwest supposed to be this but until you go down there you really don't understand that like it's kind of all love like you know it's, it's ignorance everywhere you go but like yeah. for the most part you know the whole entire city is is really like music oriented and, yeah like, artist oriented and, like everybody's is very accepted you know everybody's willing to network and relationships so right it's, it's, very, it's very cool you know yeah to be down there versus being here you know you walk down the street and it's like what, what are you looking at yeah yeah I, I when i went to austin the first time and i went for south by southwest i was like i'm not coming back yeah. <laughs> Southern right. but, but, the, but the thing is like austin texas is really like a diverse city like it really isn't as southern as you think it is yeah. so it's just like being in a northern city with a cooler vibe honestly because i didn't really meet too many like southern people down there it was just cool people <laughs> so um tell us about the project that you just dropped um what it's called Forever foreign. Forever foreign. Yes, ma'am. So, uh, man, if you don't stop, yes, ma'am, and me, but I get it. <laughs> That's a respect. Y'all don't know. Listen, Everybody I know Kyrie is like <laughs> my son. I know. Well, no, because <laughs> Kyrie, he's friends with my son. Yeah. So, you know. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's not even that. I mean, you know, every ass man, everybody I'll talk yeah. to, no matter if you're 12 or, you know, 200 or you know, I'm just matter. messing with you. Yeah, but, um, so, tell us about Forever Form. Yeah, Forever Form was pretty much just an EP I dropped uh, while I was out in Los Angeles, California. Mm -hmm. uh, pretty much what I've been doing is, like, I've been trying to um, capitalize more on my whole entire brand as Form, being right. universal and, like, unique. Right. So I've been like trying different sounds and doing different type of songs that other people, you know, and not just the U.S. or Ohio right. or California just may like. Right. So I ended up recording that out there, you know, being around a lot of different people, a lot of different positive vibes. Right. So that's what I ended up getting out of that. It was forever for him, but I got a lot more in the way. So just be on the lookout. Yeah. Um, Haley listened to it and she's like a heavy music critic. Mm -hmm. And she was like, she <laughs> listens to it all the time now. She's like, this is actually good. Yeah. So, it's actually good. <laughs> so, tell everybody, um, you know, some of the producers that you work with and um, if you had any features on the project as well and who those features were. Uh, this project, Forever Four, I didn't have any features on it. Uh, they were all different songs I did by myself. I have a, a couple producers I've been working with. One is from France. He goes by the name of uh, Brick Plug. Mm -hmm. But um, pretty much, like I said, I've been trying to find some different sounds. You know, everybody's getting into, into the Trap 808, so I'm yeah. pretty much just trying to find something a little different that's still appealing to the younger crowd. Right. You know, everybody. Absolutely. So we're going to turn it over to uh, your right-hand man over here, JJ yes, Money. Sir. No, 
Yeah, we got Toberlin. <laughs> <Toberland. laughs> I had to do that on purpose. We got Toberlin. <laughs> Big Toe. Toby, in the Toby, building. The infamous toe. Oh. <laughs> so tell us what you contribute to the whole little foreign foreign brand. Well, I'm the, the how should I say this? You know, I'm the creative genius behind the scenes. You know, I'm like me and Connor times two, kind of getting the back. You know, no, I'm gonna be serious. I'm the creative director for the uh, foreign clothing aesthetic brand. You know. I do designs, you know, we help put things together. We got a lot of collaborations coming out. We got a whole collection coming out soon, very, very soon. You know, we've been dropping little bits and pieces here and there, little sneak peeks, mm -hmm. you know, kind of little programming here and there, and the stories on the on the post, kind of let people know we got a lot of big things coming out. Okay. And it's just, you know, we gotta, we kind of keep the stuff on the low until it's time to... You know, really, it's a time out. and place for everything. Absolutely. Right. So, if somebody's interested in following you, Mr. Creative Aesthetic Director. <laughs> what's your What's your social media so they can follow you? It's at Toberlin T O E B U R L A N D. You know, it's just my name, Toberlin. Absolutely. You know, type in big toes gonna pop up. You know. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so big toes. <laughs> so, um. See, I had to keep remembering to call you Lil Foreign because I was about to say your your name. <laughs> I, I can't even remember that though because I was I'm not I'm, I never call you that. So anyway, Foreign, uh, introduce your track. You gave us a track further, right? Yeah, Further Ado is the name of the song. Okay. Um, it's pretty much a song that's about um just overcoming you know a lot of the the, the hardships that you have in inner circles of people who are supposed to be your friends. You know, mm -hmm. supposed to be there for you. So it's it's really um geared toward the, the the person who feel like they have something to say but don't really know how to say it right okay all so, right so dj ray if you want to go ahead and uh cue that track up let's go as foreign further ado has been voted as a hit right here on hit or miss sunday's live listening session so you will receive 30 days rotation on the station <laughs> It felt good because you forgot to say that. That's DJ Raven's thing. He said it feels good. good. It feels good. So if anybody's interested in collabing, somebody wants to send you beats, they want to follow you on Instagram and see all of you guys shenanigans that y'all posting on Insta Story, mm -hmm. where can they follow you? Uh, you can follow me at Fuck Form. It's Form spelled for the number four F O U R. Remember, the U is for unique. Dude. All, all right. right. All right. <laughs> Listen, guys, you guys know what type of guests we have. Our guests don't play around. We're going to have. Um, Toberlin, go out and get our other guests. You guys are welcome to stay with the other guests as well. I feel like that'll be a good vibe. This is where it's gonna get interesting.